Q&A time. So this is like our real first Q&A because we finally, finally got a question that we are going to answer. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to say their name because I don't know if they want to be known. But um, thank you. So the first question, the only kind of question. Only question, the first and only. <laughs> the first and only question is, how do you guys not get bored in the relationship you're in? So. There's a lot of different ways that um, you can answer this question. And there's a lot of different ways that people got their own way of not getting bored. But I, I, we have a lot of ways as well. But I think one real specific thing, if we had to say, was probably like setting goals from getting bored. Um, the reason for it, because it kind of helps us look forward to something. So for an example, if I'm at school and I leave to school on a Sunday, the goal is for me to get all my schoolwork and whatever I have to do with football done with throughout the week and for you to... Well, for me, it's basically like, as we said in previous videos, it's kind of like just looking forward to something and counting down the days. So I'm like, or like we challenge each other, we have challenges. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hit the gym more than you are this week or stuff like that. Like we just do these type of challenges to keep ourselves motivated and like, oh, watch when you get back, you're gonna see, we're gonna weigh ourselves, we're gonna see who did this and stuff like that. So it's kind of like just like, challenging each other but in the right kind of way not in the wrong kind of way like motivating each other stuff like that and based it's just having i don't know like having fun i yeah. think we do really good with that stuff it kind of flows naturally it's not something that we have to overly think yeah or it's not forced neither it's yeah it's not yeah it's not forced like it's something that when you find that person you'll see that even the smallest things can be fun and not be boring like to us watching a movie on a Saturday night is a hundred times more fun than going out to a club like I don't yeah. know everyone has their own thing of fun yeah and and as she said like with challenging and stuff like one thing about uh, Ree she doesn't back down from any challenges and we're also very competitive when in certain ways not in a bad way in a good way as far as like so if we're on a diet and um I don't want to slack on my diet. It would kind of call. I, I wouldn't want to slack because she's not slacking. You know what I'm saying? So it can cause sometimes an argument because it's frustration that I want to slack and she doesn't want to slack. And you know, I'm, I'm I suggest, oh, let's get pizza. And then when she throws that reminder, like, but babe, we're on a diet. We're not eating mm -hmm. pizza. I kind of get a little, you know, frustrated. But it's then again, she's being com not competitive, but she's making sure I don't fall out of alignment yeah. without diet. But like we said, we have goals. And I think goals and also challenging each other keeps us going. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, throughout the week, she has to get, you know, her goal is to get, you know, acting out the way. I mean, not out the way, but get acting dealt with yeah, and do I anything, get school done with. Yeah, like do anything towards acting. If I have to go to an interview or if I have to do something related to acting, get that done throughout the week, um, the weekdays, because the weekends are ours. So yeah. we don't want nothing to interrupt that, that yeah. moment or those times that we have, like, for him, for school, like, I know it's the weekend now, but, because it's Saturday, but he has some schoolwork that he has to get done, so that's what we're going to do kind of today, but, like, those little things and stuff that we really can't control, like, if it has to get done, it has to get done, but we try our best to eliminate a lot out of the list, so we recently, um, because of him, I, I've been doing it kind of for a while, but I slacked off big time, so then when he brought it up, I was like, yeah, let's do it, you know, so he made sure we went to... Dwayne Reed, we got a book, you know, and we kind of like start setting goals for ourselves separately, and then we also gonna have goals together. Together. So what we had done is, she has, um, we like she said, she brought her own journal. I brought my own journal, and basically those journals are baby steps to the ultimate goal that we have. So if I get my schoolwork done with anything with football, workouts, training, if I get all that dealt with throughout the week. On the weekend, we basically will have time to go after the real goals, the big goals. So if we get everything we have to get done during the week, it won't interfere with the weekend. Mm -hmm. So when the weekend comes, we can focus on our goals. So our I goals. have my personal goals, she has her own personal goals, and on the weekends, we have our goals. Our goals, and not only that, not like it's not always about work, but it's our goals slash having fun. Being able to actually do something because... Let's say if you guys slack off and you're like, okay, you know, I have something to get done and he has something to get done. Then when you guys get together, 
you're stressing about what you should have had been, what you should have been done. Trust me, but it happens with us yeah, all the time. Yeah, and it happens with us, yeah, because we're not perfect. Like, sometimes we're like, I should have got this done the other day. Now I'm with you, and now I have to get it done, like, now because there's a deadline. or You know, and then that's that kind of, like, stops it from being fun. It kind of stops seeing each other being fun because you guys have so much stress, and you're bringing it into your relationship when you guys should just have been, had gotten done. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because you what, know what I mean? Because what really happens, like, realistically, mm -hmm. to be real with it, it's like, from personal experience and also seeing other people go through it is that if I don't get something done during the week or a person doesn't get something done with their own personal things it's hard to focus on something for somebody else so frustration might come out which might start arguments and might start you know we, we don't really we don't really have time for that especially me having to go back and forth to Delaware so what we have done is we have you know really set up set this type of program, plan mm -hmm. kind of thing since we first got together. Let's get everything done in the week and then so on the weekend we can go to the movies without stressing about it or these personal goals. <laughs> Sorry. Good. I burped. It was like... I think I heard it though. <laughs> I'm right here. What do you think? Did I hear you burp? <laughs> so yeah, like, um, so like she said, um, she brought her own personal planner. I brought my personal planner. But then again, we want to show you guys and for YouTube and for people that um really love our videos and we really appreciate it you know um we want to bring you guys into it and show you guys what we you know what we're gonna do for now mm -hmm. so we brought a poster board and on this poster board the top is youtube and the bottom is fitness so so we, we have youtube goals fitness goals and we guys we want to bring you guys through it so this is our vision board as you know the top section is going to be youtube so the first thing we want is another camera. We want to get another camera mainly because carrying a shitload of equipment is very, very like irritating. And taking out a huge camera, people do get suspicious and they, they think we're trying to record them when we're not. So we want another camera, a more like handy one, smaller. And we also need, the second one is going to be a laptop. We need a laptop mainly because my laptop is over seven years old and the editing is kind of slow, uploading is slow and all this stuff. So we need something that's like more up to speed, more newer and that can give us a lot more effects because we have so many cool ideas that we just can't have, uh, we can't in input into our videos because of my laptop. Um, also because um, when Babe goes to school and I'm here in the city, we want to be able to edit for you guys separately and then um, have more videos coming out for you guys, which is why it's, there's one last, uh, <laughs> there's a last goal for our YouTube, but we'll get to that. Um, our third goal will be uh, to get at least 500 or more by the end of our summer, you know, 500 more subscribers by the end of our summer because... You know, we want we want a lot of people to be with us. We want a lot of people to see our videos. We want to give as much as advice to as many, as much as possible. Is that right? I don't know. You guys can correct me. So, we want as much people to see our YouTube videos so we can get the word out there. So we can help lots and lots of couples. Okay. The fourth one is an extra tripod. The extra tripod is really because we want something to hold so we can extend our camera. So we don't have a lot of close face shots where you can probably see up our noses because our arms aren't so long. Well, mine. I have really short arms. Um, Babe has long arms, so he does a lot of the camera holding when we don't have our tripod. And our, what's his name, fifth, right? Yeah. Our fifth one is we want to interact with you guys more with our entire YouTube you know, we want people to comment. We want people to tell us what they didn't like and what they did like. We want stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, and our last one, but not least, and, of course, we will add more if we find other things, is setting a, a video dropping schedule so you guys know when to expect a certain video and you, go, you guys won't ever have to wait around for it because right now I know our videos are coming out kind of like, on a Monday and then the next week is on a Wednesday and then it's like all over the place so we're gonna work on that not only for us but for also you guys so please let us know when maybe even comment under this video and let us know when do you go on the internet maybe that'll help for us a lot too but yeah that's what we have so far now it's fitness okay like we said earlier in the video for a relationship usually it comes from individual goals to a relation a couple goal so if I get to achieve my goals, 
we achieve some goals, we'll be able to come together and achieve goals with, with each other. So this is a perfect example with our fitness. So for fitness, in the summer of 2016, my goal is to lose 20 pounds. I want to get down to 220. I'm starting at 240. I want to get down to 220. High skill starting at 135. She wants to get to 130. But the ultimate goal for me is to get lean. And the ultimate goal for her is to tone up. Now, with this, we'll be able to come together on YouTube, show YouTube that we are working together, that we are trying to get in shape, in better shape, and we would like to start our own fitness camp. And what do I mean by our own fitness camp? I mean, us go to the park and influence other couples or other single people. You know, it doesn't matter. Any individual that wants to train but probably doesn't have the money to go to the gym or doesn't have the money to afford a personal trainer, we want to influence you guys to come out and work out with us. On, in the mornings, um, we're, we're, we're looking forward to doing this on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 8 a.m. throughout the week. And the, my, if I achieve my goals and Husky achieves her goals, we could come together and achieve this goal. It's starting a fitness camp um, that is absolutely free. And we just want to motivate others to get in shape with us. So, as you can see, we have the YouTube goals and the fitness goals. And this is our goals for the summer of 2016. All right, so... For the question, how we stop a relationship from getting bored, well, at least our relationship from getting bored, we just set goals and we achieve them together um, and it, it, it makes us happy. We also eat ice cream sometimes, yeah. make us happy and watch movies and cuddle and all that, but a relationship can go down a slump real quick if it gets, that it can make it real boring by watching movies every time you're with each other and eat ice cream and and then you're gonna get in uncomfortable situations when you gain too much weight and now you don't wanna go out because mm -hmm. you look bad. And it's just a lot of frustration and personal problems it can bring in a relationship. Exactly. So that's how we did it. We get our own journals and we make our, we made our own board. This is something new actually that we just did. Um, this is idea. Usually we go off the top of the top of the head and we remember these things, but now <laughs> I dropped the fucking one. So yeah, usually we just go off the top of the head and remember these things, but mm -hmm. you know, um, Haskiri is really good. She always writes down notes. She got me into one to buy my own journal. Um, I brought my own journal, writing it down. I can see how much it can do, you know, because you, you have to face it every time you open it. Mm -hmm. So this, we want to hang up this in the room so every day we wake up, we can't slap. Yeah, like you wake up, some days you're going to wake up tired and you're not going to want to do it, but then seeing this is what's going to motivate you. Motivate you. You have to find something that that motivates you, that keeps you motivated, yeah. you know, because there's so many, yo, know, y'all don't even know, there's so many times where I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to go to the gym, I'm tired, I'm this, and he's up at like 6 in the morning every day, he's like, let's go babe, let's hit the gym, ah. And I'm just like, no. So now seeing this is most like. <laughs> it's like old people working, alright? Oh, <laughs> uh, I got it! Wait, and you was working out like that though the last time. Just kidding. Oh my god, like that. Stop playing. <laughs> but yeah, but seeing that, I'm, I know it's gonna make a difference because thinking about it today, it really did make a difference. I woke up in the last, what, three days and I didn't have a problem waking up, no, right? No, so, no. And I usually have to fight you to get up. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, like going back to the question, like he said, like piggybacking off of what my baby said. Um, yeah, it's just try to find, <laughs> try to find what you guys enjoy doing together, and try to find something that you guys enjoy doing separately, so that when you guys do get together, maybe you can introduce that new thing to them. Like, um, I'm an actor, so I want to take him to a show one time, one day at least. I haven't done that yet, so I want to take him to a theater show to see if he likes it, and if he does, and that's something else that we can add to the list of things we can do together. Yeah, definitely. And sometimes you're not going to want to do things or hear things or eat mm -hmm. things, but that's your, 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 your significant other, but mm -hmm. you're going to have to do it. You got to act like you like it. I listen to Justin Bieber now. You like Justin Bieber. I like Justin Bieber now. That's that's one thing you never know. You never know what you like and you don't like until, until you try, try it. it. That was nice. Wow, that though. was good. That was good. That was, that it wasn't even like, planned, yo. Wasn't. It wasn't. Yo, that was so it wasn't good. even planned. We finished each other's sandwiches. sandwiches. Oh, it was the sentences. I was going to say sentences, but I remember it. Like we were saying, sometimes you're going to get into things you don't want to do. Man, if you love her, try it. If you love him, try it. If you don't like it, be honest with him. You got to be honest with him. And then, I never liked Justin Bieber. Yeah, that, and that album purpose is like that. 
sorry, babe. I'm no, it's saying. okay. Don't like. I'm just saying. Just don't take it into uh, into offense. Yeah, don't take it offensively if they tell you they don't like it, you know, then fine, you don't always, not all of you guys are going to agree to the same thing, you know, we just have to find that one thing that you both enjoy doing. Yeah. yeah. Set goals, achieve your goals, and we'll bring you happiness. That's what works for us. Hopefully it works for you. Yes. Peace. Peace to the Middle East. Peace to the... To what? My Middle East, babe. That's what people Where'd say. Where'd you get that from? You never, yo, y'all know. Nah, babe, I'm just happens. saying, though, babe, time out. Hold on, this is not for the camera. Where'd you get that from, Peace to the Middle East? I heard it in school one time. Why the Middle, where's the Middle East at? In the Middle East. Okay, tell me. In Give the me Middle an East. Give me an example. Middle East is Asia. Bitch, what? On that note. We'll see you guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, guys, we was gonna end it on that note, but we have to come back real quick, real quick, please. She said peace to the Middle East. She said it was in Asia. I, I just went on know. Google and I found out it's Egypt, Iraq, Turkey, and Iran. So she wants to do peace to people that were terrorists to us. Peace to the Middle East, so peace to Iraqis. And not and saying peace to them like bye, forget y'all. <laughs> Terrible. I tried. Stay with I'm the goals. To, we have to make a new goal board. <laughs> I'm trying to make myself look good after not knowing where the Get hell the Middle East is. Up. Bitch, what? What? <laughs> Get your geometry skills up. <laughs> it's geometry. But you don't I know thought, it's geometry. I thought it was geography. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm just getting to court talking shit. <laughs> I said geometry. It's a fucking math. <laughs> That's math. Yo, I swear. Yo, we are, we are, we are. I swear we are, we are. we're really not this dumb. We are, we are. No, we kind of do. No. Bitch, what? What? Bitch, what? What? Bitch, what? Bitch, what?